New developments tonight in the search for an escaped killer. Danilo Cavalcante has been on the run now for 11 days. Today we learned that he's altered his appearance and stole a van from a local dairy farm to help seek uh, some help from old acquaintances. But tonight he remains on the loose. Sunday night, I'm Walter Perez. The big story in Action News tonight is developing. We have new pictures of Danilo Cavalcante as the immense manhunt for the escaped killer drags on. We have live team coverage tonight. Andy McCormick has the latest on the search efforts. While Brianna Smith spoke with Cavalcante's former roommate, we begin with Annie now, though, in West Vincent Township. Annie. Yeah, and Walter, that's right. The search has now moved from that perimeter we were showing you on Friday around Longwood Gardens to the northern part of Chester County, which is where we are now. Now, authorities said today that they fear he may steal another vehicle, and also they don't know whether or not he's armed. He is very determined. We are even more determined. East Natmill Township is now a focus of the search for escaped fugitive Danilo Cavalcante. It's where he abandoned the stolen van after breaching the search perimeter established by authorities at Longwood Gardens. I do not have a perimeter secured up there. We're searching an area around where we recovered uh, the van, but uh, there are a number of other uh, a number of other pieces of information that are in play that don't require a perimeter. Authorities believe he stole the van from Bailey's Dairy Farm in Pocopson Township sometime Saturday evening and drove it to the home of a former work associate in East Pikeland Township, where a ring doorbell camera captured these images at 9.52 last night. Cavalcante, clean shaven with a new sweatshirt, then drove to the home of another former co-worker in the Phoenixville area at 10.07. It wasn't until about 12 hours later that authorities discovered the abandoned van 20 miles from where it was stolen. This is a minor setback. We'll get him. It's a matter of time. It was 11 days ago Cavalcante escaped Chester County Prison. Cavalcante was about to serve a life sentence for killing his ex-girlfriend. He was also wanted for a 2017 homicide in his native Brazil. Authorities confirmed his sister was arrested today. I do believe that he's still in Pennsylvania. I can tell you that the victim's family uh, remains under protection and uh, we assure them that they will be fully protected through all of this. And Walter, now that the search has moved to this area, the Owen J. Roberts School District said that tomorrow all recess and also after school activities will be brought indoors. For now, we're reporting live in West Vincent Township, Annie McCormick for Action News at 10. Walter. All right, thank you, Annie.